Hi everyone, welcome to the Empty Nester Show. <laughs> or should I say that my own show, he's here to steal the show as usual. But um, I'm going to talk about the lean-to greenhouse a bit. I'm learning and learning and learning lots of stuff. And a number of you have given me some data and some input and some tips and some thoughts and I really appreciate all of your ideals and um, I need to explain a little bit more too that this greenhouse is more than just for growing it's a part going to be it's a part of the house it's going to add heating and the winter time to not only the greenhouse but the house so I'm going to use this as a passive solar heater also and my game plan was um, to add a heat source you know like a rocket stove in the winter time and then um, develop a um, solar chimney this is the ideal of the solar chimney where see if you can get it closer <laughs> um, a solar chimney is where on the south side where the heat or the sun shines um, sometimes they have a brick chimney over here that the sun heats up and then a pipe which is related to geothermal goes down into the ground and comes back here and goes out of vent on the north side on the north side of my house I've got trees and the ground is kind of hard as concrete over there so getting that far over is a little bit difficult but I'm going to try to work with this the way it is and it'll evolve and lots of experiments and lots of things that work because right now what's working is opening the kitchen window let me show you a clip from yesterday and then today I opened the window for about a half an hour and I got the greenhouse down to a hundred and the house temperature went up to 73. As you can see just by opening the window it went from 115 yesterday down to 85. Today it's um, 90, let me look again, it's almost 90 in here and it's 73, 74 in the house. So this is actually creating solar heat without vents, or without electricity, you know, as in with the solar heater that I've got on the side of the house, I put a, a greenhouse exhaust fan into it to increase the temperature coming out and going into the house. Right now, this is just passive solar. It's doing whatever it's going to do. <laughs> You're falling over whatever it's doing on its own and I'm so happy that this plastic and the structure is holding up and you know you saw in my last video of the greenhouse where the wind took and had its way with it and I think because this is a temporary structure it's not um, anything that you need a building um, permit for it's flexible, kind of like the trees. When the wind blows in the trees, they move, and yet they've got a strong foundation. I think the um, conduit clips up there on the overhang, keeping it attached, you know, allowed the frame to flex and move and move and flex. And sure, it disrupted the plastic the first time and the second time. Um, but it didn't destroy it. It didn't blow it off. I did a PVC greenhouse in the past at my old house and um, we have tornado-like winds in Missouri where um, we actually had a tornado go up the next street from us and then we got the side winds of the tornado and it took the greenhouse and blew it into the woods and mangled it. It took a shed and blew it into the woods, a metal shed, and just totally destroyed it so um, I'm learning a lot of things on experimenting a lot with dealing with high winds you know some 40 to 70 mile an hour winds can be seen here you know in Missouri and um, this is just all 
a learning experience and I'm glad you're along with me to learn. Um, I'm also, you know, thoughts, 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 you know, bring in geothermal and solar chimney and rocket stove, all kinds of ideals in the future will go into this greenhouse along with plants that are sustainable. And it'll bring my growing season possibly a year round is my hope. And with using minimal energy, you know, energy from the sun, energy from, um, I do have solar electric panels that aren't installed yet because I haven't made a battery purchase. But in the future, they'll be part of the system. And then I was thinking about just using drop lights in here with the greenhouse. Um, and what I've seen is the humidity is so high, you kind of need waterproof lighting in here to not be affected. Or for electric and water, it doesn't mix. So I have to get my thinking cap on to um, figure out what to do in here and I know there's solutions for commercial greenhouses and everything for a commercial greenhouse costs you know quite a bit of money and I'm trying to do it without a lot of money I hang on a second I have bought a couple things um, with the door over there I was going to put on the northwest side I'm kind of afraid for right now to um, do that because of the wind exposure. But two, I also see I need cross ventilation. And for right now, um, I've made a makeshift, you know, open and close door. But in the future, I found this zipper that you can put on a tarp that um, lets you open and close it. Even though I have a storm door to use, I've seen the wind take storm doors off houses and mangle them. So right now I'm kind of afraid to do that, but I don't know what the future is going to hold yet. And then I found a solar light at the hardware store, and I'm going to just see how this works. It's supposed to be a motion detector, and it collects the energy from the sun all day, and whenever it detects motion, I hate these packages, <laughs> it turns the light on and off, and with it being an outdoor unit, it's already programmed to be waterproof. It's also got a sticky pad on the back that you can just stick it to the wall, and I'm not sure how it's going to absorb, you know, if the plastic being not completely clear how much sun it's going to expose. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it set on the table and let it collect energy and see how it works from there. But um, let me go ahead and get back to some of the ideals with a uh, solar chimney. Um, our house is already designed. You know, this is just a rough drawing where I've, on the, this is the south side. There's vents up here by the roof overhang. There's a vent underneath the overhang on the back of the house. The other side of the house has a vent and um, all the ground vents that go under the house are covered because the groundhogs keep um, digging through them and coming in the house, breaking in the house and doing whatever they want and uprooting the foundation. So we've done a lot of covering everything. Maybe in the future we can get them secured and open back up, but for now the air is going to have to come into the windows and go out the vents and as it is now the air comes in the back vent here goes through the attic and then comes out on either side of the front of the house so I do have some um, passive um, solar or I do have a solar chimney at work in the house but to create the heat from this greenhouse using that also it's automatically being pulled in as soon as these windows open the heat just pulls itself into the house these two windows here i haven't um opened yet and it's possible that i'm just going to create a whirlwind too everything's a learning experience and we'll see from there 
you also know that I have the solar heater that I don't have it reinstalled yet but I've got it right over here and I'm going to hook in a system eventually where he can be pulled from the upper parts of the greenhouse and down and the solar heat from there will go into vents where it'll um, more than likely pull air from this room and push it into that room and then the greenhouse will take care of the rest of the rooms here and then all I have to do is get the system hooked up to taking care of the other rooms on the north side of the house and the house will be complete then so um, this is all like I said a thought and possible future and I'll go ahead and close for now Thanks for watching, and y'all have a wonderful day.